El Presidente, I got you the fish. Turn it on. What do you mean, it's, turn it on? Flawed. Hit on it, is what she means. Is this, no, it's flawed. Is this Don't jack off the fish, dog. She said, turn it on. Oh. Dude, you're so lame, dude. Who do you even know here? I would shake you if you were my baby. Uh, What's up, guys? <laughs> and welcome to episode something something of Dropouts. Jared, what episode can is I it? Guess, can I guess? Can I guess? Can I guess? Okay. It's 117, you idiot. I was going to guess 117. Then you're smart. Whoa. I literally had no idea, but I was like, feels like a 117. Dude, you are living life to the fullest, are you? I know, aren't I? Are you living, laughing, and loving? No, not are at all. Are you living la vida loca? I am living but I'm not la vida loca. Oh my gosh, you guys are so crazy. Okay, so this week you might have been like, oh wow, such high energy. We're expecting just the most out of this podcast. You what, shouldn't expect a damn thing. What are we, Indy? Exhausted and sick. I was just gonna go with sick. I'm not as exhausted. Yes, you are exhausted. You're always exhausted. I'm recovering from a violent hangover this morning. Oh, were you really that hungover? <laughs> yeah. How drunk are you? I was pretty, like, I remember everything. That's like what, it, That's what you'd say into the court. What? Do you remember Pace. taking your shirt off on the boat being like, look at my titty. Well, I know I did. <laughs> Thank you. Do you remember but showing your piece to that um, foreign family? That and I do. That's a big regret. And saying, welcome to America. And then you got on the ground and you twisted it back and forth and Never said, I don't like I'm a tiny little boy bit. helicopter. Do you remember that? No, I don't like that. <laughs> bit, this bit anymore. It's not gonna, a bit. I'm Let's cut to the, a clip. I'm going to roll the intro. Jira What's looks up, like the guy that would try to find his doctor. Up. He he does that on purpose. I could see as soon as he said it, it came out of his mouth. There's a smile on his face. The hate, he, the at, whoopsie, the hate that I have for Zach. Jared looks like the guy that would track down his childhood doctor that like birthed him so, to try to get his foreskin back. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> How do you even come What's up, up viewers? Welcome back to episode one, 117 of Dropouts. Next year, when it's 118, me and Jared can uh, take Oh, a you got a package. Huh? Is that the Polaroid? Did you guys ever order that Polaroid? What Polaroid? Oh, we never ordered the Polaroid. We never ordered a Polaroid. Oh, I thought we were going to do the po Polaroid bit with the guests and take a photo. No, that's a great idea. We just, we, we don't Indy. execute any of our Indy, ideas. We haven't nearly talked about our sickness enough for people to care yeah, or to so send us presents. Yo. I'm loaded on pseudoephedrine right now. Yeah, and I'm loaded on sadness and depression, and then I got sick. Twinsies. So much fun. Who yeah, gave, how come you didn't get sick, huh? Who, because yeah. my immune system, knock on wood, is amazing. And it, was, it just of, makes me mad because, Indy, I spit in your mouth how, twice, maybe. Twice max. And it's just, it's like, I don't know. I think I, our, your immune system should work harder. Like, that's right? not my problem. That's pretty messed up. Honestly, it's not your problem. It's I was, my problem. I was really sick, and she was like, oh, you don't. I was like, you'd probably, you're probably gonna get sick too. She's like, no way, my my immune system's like so strong, like literally my um my guardian angels are my white blood cells. I was mm -hmm. like, what does that even mean? She's like, <laughs> she's like spit in my mouth, and I was like, and she's like, and this is not even sensual at all. I was like, I'm not gonna do it. She's like, here's five bucks. I said, Pew. she said, here's another ten, Pew. and you, and then you got sick, so you lied. Oh, the thought of that just uh, sent shivers up my spine. Um, so you're into it? No, no bad shivers. You know what's hard? Getting older. I miss when the only stress in my life was, does Lightning McQueen um, have life insurance or car insurance? You know, or oh. or when someone would come up to me and be it's like, "Gotta be car insurance," and be like, "Spell I cup," and I'd be like, "I C U P," and then and then I'd be like, and then they'd be like, ha, well, "Ew, why are you watching me pee?" And and now if I said a sentiment like that, arrested immediately near a playground, instant felony. And I just feel like, <laughs> I just feel like life is just it's tough for an adult. You know, you want to know. About the good parts about being an adult, though. Sure. Wait, did we? What, can we settle the debate? Is do you think he has life insurance or car insurance? Oh, uh, car insurance. No, he's definitely it's life it's life insurance. Oh, here he, we go. But, he's, but his life form is a car. Yeah, but we have health insurance. We don't, we don't call have it human, human insurance. insurance. No, I understand that, and you make a great <laughs> point. <laughs> I love when things click in her brain. And she knows she's wrong, but she's like. But I'm still gonna defend it. I still think it'd be car insurance. No, because because he doesn't have any like li no, it'd be car insurance. Because not everyone has life insurance. Do you guys have life insurance? Yes. Do you have life insurance? No. 
Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not rich. Not like everyone Jared. has life insurance. Most people would have like health or car insurance. Okay, but his his health or like his health life insurance is not like a necessity. No, not everyone needs life insurance. Not everyone has it. I Only think if you're, you're like on 50 years old a, with a weird of dollars. track for this debate. I'm yeah, saying it but, because like it wouldn't be life insurance that he would have because not everyone has it, and so it'd be unlikely that like he'd have it. It'd be definitely a, our debate should be health or or car insurance, not life insurance. It'd be health or car insurance. Okay, and then, so okay, and then, then, then matter, health insurance. And then in the matter, it, uh, okay, health insurance, he's not going to go see a doctor. He's going to go see a mechanic. So it would be a car insurance. I never wanted to spread but, your molars across this room more. You know exactly our, what we're talking about. But are, are mechanics in the, the realm of the cars universe, are those not doctors? I like, get it, but we, like, it would be called. You'd still call. It, you'd still call it a mechanic, and you would still call it like. What if they call a doctor though? They don't. How do you know? Because I recently washed cars. Well, no one goes to a hospital in okay, cars. I say we go they down go to, to a mechanic. Guys, I say we go down to the parking garage. We go ask him. We talk to our cars. All right, we'll be we, right. We'll be right back. Okay, we'll be right back. You're co we're actually doing this. It's the dumbest shit. Hey, do you have car insurance or life insurance? It'd be car or health insurance. Hold the phone. This is the Let it speak, huh? Bit we've ever this is done. not. This is a good bit. Car? In here, are you going to let the car talk or are you just going to talk? You're going to cut the car off, too. No. Okay, but this is We're going to let the car talk. Shut up. Let it talk. Car insurance. Because it's real Seven. life. Car insurance. This is the car insurance. said it very reverse. faintly, but it was car insurance. Say and it's that settled. Didn't, that car didn't insurance. Solve anything. Yeah, we did. talked to a live car, Jared. 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 It's car insurance. I was wondering if you noticed. I said it weird. Health insurance. It's car insurance. Okay, the car down there. We just spoke there. to the car. The car you really down gonna, there. Are you going to invalidate that car's answer? No, because that car that lives car in our universe. And that car clearly said car insurance. Because it's so in what does that our car universe. Have? What does that car where have? It's a car. What does that car have? What does Lightning what? McQueen have? What it's, does that car have? It's not what that what car is, has. Answer the question, the question. I'm answering the Did fucking answer question. It? I said, what does that car have? I said, that car has, has car insurance. Thank you. And no. that car is a car just like Lightning McQueen. Guys, no, for whatever no, reason, I, for whatever reason, I love this. <laughs> no, no. Okay, the question <laughs> was, does Lightning McQueen? This that is was hot. This is hot. That was. Did she hit her head on the mic? Dude, she hit her eye on the mic. I don't know how she did that. Wow. Sometimes God gives us hardest battles oh. to its toughest warriors or something. Something, something like yeah. that. I'm sorry. That really hurt. Um. Anyway, new bit. You want to talk about our trip to Georgia? These guys have never really been to an SEC football game. They don't well, really. No. Here comes Indy. I have been to two. So. Okay. Ask her what a defensive end is. What's a defensive end? The guy at the end. <laughs> the, 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 Is he on defense too? Yeah. The guy. No, no. Shh. He's at the, no, that's a running back. She just said, oh, no, she, that's a running back. No, no, no. I'm, I'm the, the, the line. Of what? Of defense. They're at this end or this end. Because they're at the end. All you did there was use context clues. You didn't. <laughs> I did it. You didn't do it. What do they do? Oh, um, they defend the end. Good job. That's like you on a yeah. Saturday night when a guy wants to go anal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, wait, Wrong. What? what? Do it. Anyway, we went to the Kentucky Florida game. I'd never been to Gainesville Stadium. Um, wonderful stadium, the Swamp. A lot of people. We, we were going in. Even Indiana thought that Kentucky would lose, didn't you? She's on her phone. Beautiful. But instead, Kentucky won the game in enemy territory. In enemy territory, and we're we're walking around the tailgate in our blue, and and we're getting words exchanged to us, aren't we, Jared? Like, dude, some guy got in my face, and he was kind of scary. He had face tats, but he got in my face, this. and he was just screamed at me. He's like, "Go Florida!" <laughs> and I was like, "Okay." Dude. Not only did he have face tattoos, he he had a uh, cancer ribbon under his eye. Oh, <laughs> that's right. He had a cancer ribbon under his eye. Yeah. You it was a cancer ribbon? Well, it was a ribbon of so some sort. So apparently he sort. kills cancer patients. Oh, God. I know. Let me look up gang ribbons. <laughs> um, Jared, do you want to talk about the time we were in the convenience store and there's a long line for a bathroom? <laughs> okay. Set the scene for us. All right. So we're we're on, I don't know. Let's call it Main Street. I don't know what the street is. We're going of. into a Wawa. 
uh, yeah, we're going into a Wawa, which is a convenience store because it's the only place that has bathrooms. This street is just flooded. There are 90,000 people on the street, like all waiting to get into the stadium before the game. We need a bathroom. We go in there. There is an exceptionally long line for the men's restroom. Well, both restrooms, but oh, we use the men's, we don't use we? The men's. So, or uh, we would use all gender, right, Jared? Or all gender, you know, it doesn't matter. Whichever but one's available first. You were this close to getting canceled and I saved you. Thank you. Um, so <laughs> They did not have an all gender bathroom there. So we're waiting in this line and then finally it's, it's our turn to go. And so, well, Zach goes first. Where and am I at? I'm at the funeral. He got the piece he, out he's leaking the, the dragon. Zach is just like, <laughs> you're checking your phone at the urinal, right? So that's this so is fucking that's weird. important because it sets up the two differences and us, right? Well, hold on. Why is that weird? If, if I'm, I'm, I, I'm left hand on the piece, right hand on the phone. I'm scrolling, you know? know? It's kind of I'm going to stare at my wiener. Well. That's even weirder. I feel like Do you guys perf. wash your hands? Yeah, of course. I don't, I mean, I don't remember you that part. your hand. I mean, I usually do, but I, I can't like, I'm not going to lie. I can't remember. No, no, I just think that's funny. Zach goes ahead of me. He's on his phone. Like, this is important because like, clearly just super nonchalant doesn't care. I get up and one of the guys is complaining in the line about how long it's taking. Cause right when I get done, they're like, Oh dude, I like you. You're a fast peer, man. I like you. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're like, they're praising Zach for peeing super fast. You ever been though, praised for peeing? Feels even so though good. he's mm -hmm. sitting there leaning back and just like swiping on his phone. I felt like I was answering texts. R Kelly's house just getting prayed for how, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> not pray. Oh, go ahead. George. Anyway. So then, so then I, I start getting really nervous because I'm like, what if I don't pee as fast as these guys like? <laughs> Do you get <laughs> pee they, shy? And they normally I don't, but there was just a lot of guys in this bathroom waiting to pee and they're all getting pretty <laughs> antsy. And I was like, what if I don't pee as fast as these guys want me to? And like, then they, <laughs> then they start making fun of me because I'm peeing too long. And so I'm standing at the urinal and I'm just thinking about all of this. And, um, yeah, I got a little pee shy. And so I just stood there with my dick out <laughs> trying to pee. And it just like wasn't coming out because I was too anxious. And so then after probably like 10, 15 seconds or something, no pee came out. I just zipped up, washed my hands, even <laughs> though I didn't pee, and then walked out. Did people praise you though? We're like, that's a fast pee -er. Nope. Nope. Um. I didn't get any praise. Didn't. Um, yeah, got nothing. I just, you would Jared I'd in your head where you're like, this, I'm waiting. I'm, this is way too long. This is way too long. Oh dude. The, the 10, 15 seconds that I was standing felt there, like three minutes, it felt like an hour. Like it was, I was just like, oh my God, I like these guys must think I'm going for the world record right now. <laughs> and then, uh, so we walked down the street. We're down. What is it? Frat row. And there's, frat a, row. there's this frat house that, what did it say on the front? What does Kentucky and East have in common? They're both in bread. Ha ha ha. Hilarious in joke, right? Okay, so I'm wearing a Kentucky shirt and I'm like, I want a picture next to that sign. You know, not just two things I love, Kentucky football and uh, incest. <laughs> and so I was like, I got a picture next to that sign. And it's it's on the front of a frat house. They're having a, a little outdoor kickback. There's two frat guys at the front. Like, like the most stereotypical, just like two guys bag frat. standing there with their arms crossed. Who do you know here? Shirtless, like snapback is definitely backwards. Yeah. <laughs> They've definitely got like some kind of a douchebag tattoo somewhere on their body. But Probably a thigh tat. So they're keeping people from getting in and out of the frat. Also, the party was dead, mind you. Yeah, there was like <laughs> no, six people on the There were like the, six on people the on the lawn. Like it's not like a poppin' party that like needs to be fucking bounced. It's like lame as shit. So I, I'm like, okay, I want to go in there. I want to get a picture with that sign. For whatever reason, I had a mission in my head. I was going to accomplish it. And I walk up to the frat boys. And I'm like, hey, Kentucky fan here. You know, sorry for the rivalry. I just want to get picture picture to your nice sign, if that's okay. Yeah, uh, like almost kind of paying them a compliment. Yeah, it's you like, know? that's really funny. You guys made fun of us for incest. Ha, ha, ha. I don't actually suck off my brother, but it's funny that you think that. And <laughs> um, no, instead they're like, dude, no. Who do you know here, dude? And they're like, just like that. He's like, dude, if you're not Pike, you're not getting in. And that's like the rules, dog. Like but, straight up like that. And I was like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's what <laughs> I told him. So um, I walk back and we're like, okay, you know, it, no trouble. That's their, that's their little paradise. You know, I walked into the frat territory. I can't like act like I'm a big man because I didn't get in. And then, so we're walking by the frat uh, almost at the end of the house and somebody notices Indiana and you can say what happens from here. 
So this girl, I'm taking photos outside of the gate. Cause I was like, Zach, just take a photo outside of the gate. Like I am insert photos here. You can get them off my Instagram. You don't have to worry about me sending them to you. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, and then this girl, actually you can see it in the background of the photo. This girl notices me and she's like, oh my God, I used to watch you on Chicken Girls. Now I watch you in college years. Da, 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 da. Zach, opportunistic. He goes, can you get me in? She goes, actually, I think I can. My dad is the treasurer of the, the frat house. And so she's like, yeah, let me, let me see what I can do. So she goes up to uh, the- Okay, I'll take it from here. So, so uh, she's like, yeah, just go up and, and tell him my dad's name. I was like, actually, can you just come with me? That way it's, yeah, I exactly. can't just be like, I know the treasure. She's like, yeah, I'll come with you. So she comes with me. She tells the frat guy, she's like, hey, can you guys let um, them in? Um, my dad's this and this person. And he's like, I don't care who your dad is. No one's getting in unless I say so. And why do you have braces? What are you like 14 years old? You shouldn't even be at this thing. And then me, you know. That's I, fucking rude. Just like preying on her insecurities like, like that. Like, fuck you. Yeah. For no reason. Like, she's just like, hey, can these guys get in? Like, you know, and he's like, fuck you and, and then, fuck your braces. <laughs> and then, so I'm like, and he has his shirt off. I was like, dude, put your shirt back on. And when was your last sexual assault charge? Because it had <laughs> been pretty recent or something like that. And then he's like, dude, don't disrespect me in my house. I was like, first off, not your house. And also you pay to be in this house and you pay for your friends. But that's not a big, that's not, that's not a big deal, man. Keep in it, mind, Alyssa and I are right there. Alyssa's filming all this. So we have it all on camera and she's just like fucking panicking. So am I. Um, we're all just like stressed to the max. Alyssa and I are like, no, there's going to be a fight. There's more frat boys than there are Zach and Jared. Like we're already Kentucky fans. People already hate us here. Like Jesus Christ. Like, ah! And so I'm like, Alyssa, I literally grab Alyssa. I'm like, this is their problem now. And I grab her and I'm like, go away. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Let, yep, we're walking away. We're walking away. We're walking away. And I was just like, this is their battle to fight at this point. I'm not getting involved. Goodbye. Thanks for having our back. I told you it was a dumb idea. I told you guys to just take photos at the front of the gate where they couldn't say shit. You can still see the sign clearly in my photo. It worked out perfectly. But I could but tell no. by his nipples he was a pansy. So we were it would have been fine either way. It doesn't matter. Um, he could, he might not have been a pansy. Yeah, but he, you could tell he didn't want to fight because after I said the first insult, he didn't like bow up or try to push me. All he said was, don't disrespect me in my house, man. Yeah. And that's when I was like, True okay. Because okay. like any other, I feel like any other, like if a guy was about it, he probably would have. Like if he was a rowdy, drunk frat kid, he, probably he, he, he would have gotten in your face. You know, and I apologize. That might have ruined things. the day. But it didn't. Kentucky won. And <laughs> yeah. I, we I really shit on them. We should have walked by and been like, fuck you! Kentucky! Big Blue Nation, baby! No? Nope. Nope. Um, uh, cool. The parking was too crazy. If we would have waited that long, we would have been yeah. there all night, you know? True, true, true. Are you not thinking of the logistics of getting I out mean, of I mean, I'm thinking about logistics now, and you make a lot more sense. Goodness. Listen, hindsight's always twenty twenty. It's okay. I understand. Thank you. We, we do appreciate the passion. It is noted. Cool. Okay, I, I have a bit idea. People say these like these little bits. I'm a sorority girl. You're a frat boy. You're coming up to me to ask me to- um, The formal? formal. The formal. Oh, can I ask you after? Yes. yes. Uh, oh, thank you, Jack. Be in a, be a, turn your hat backwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get her, Jared. Make her, make her wet, man. Shit, I'm just gonna laugh through No, this. you're not, man. Hey, shawty, what is good? Hey, aren't you like part of like Pike or something? Yeah, I'm part of Pike. I'm trying to pike you up. Um, what are you doing for uh, formal? Are you bobbing your head too? Because we're at a party. You're not hearing oh, the music. Oh, oh, we're at a party. Uh, okay, uh, my bad. Uh, um, Chris Brown. I don't know, like uh, Delta uh, Omega. Uh, um, we're, I don't know. We're probably gonna like have like a little pregame or something. Uh, yeah? yeah. Are you? Uh, we're gonna have like a, a like a neon party. A neon. That's pretty sick. I mean, that's that's a weird uh, attire to wear to a formal. But well, like a neon pregame, and uh, then like we'll be in like our full room. Okay, gotcha. Are you going with anybody? Sorry, I was, just, I was getting tired of it too. Are you going with anybody or um, like? I haven't been asked feel, yet. No. No, like I'm really surprised because a baddie like you is <laughs> like how how could no one have done that yet? But so you're like frat president or or vice, or you you just like a frat? Well, yeah, I mean, kind of. I'm like assistant to the. the the, the, the chairperson, you know. Oh, yeah, Bobby, sorry. he brings the I chairs. Actually, I'm sorry. I actually only date frat presidents so I can be a first lady. But that was really nice of you to ask. 
Um, I mean, bye. I'll be, I'll no, be no, there bye. in like a. What, don't hey, you like up? a man? In hey, hold on, hey, bye. hey, pledge, hey, dog. I was here. Hey, back up, pledge. I, you trying to lick my butthole for uh, harassment or whatever they do? For no, hazing. Dude. hazing. All right, I'm about to talk to this young lady. Chad, that's not cool. My name's not even Chad, dogs. Presidente, and you will uh, uh, talk to me as so. Go do push-ups in the river. Yes, Presidente. And catch me a fish or you're not in the frat anymore. What kind of fish? You never specify. Trout. But trout's not even hey, Get out of my face, man. Okay. Sorry, little mama. Was he bothering you? He's a like little. a pledge. Reader. Yeah, we don't even know if we're going to let him in. All right. So, like, <laughs> it just makes sense, you and me. Well, are you frat president? I'm trying to be the president of that clitoris. I'm trying to, like... <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying yeah, to like, yeah, I'm, yeah, you would you vote for me to be the president of your clitoris? But are you the president of the frat? Yeah, I literally I call it tell him tell him to call me El Presidente. You didn't hear that? What are you yeah. stupid whore? Well, um, do you have a car? Yeah, but why would we need that when you're just gonna be riding me? <laughs> huh? Yeah. Well, um, I'm actually saving myself for mirrors, but you can put it in the butt because I hear that that's what like people do. No, I don't really go down the poop shoot anymore ever since uh, poopy sheet Sarah. Regardless, she pooped over all, and like sheets aren't cheap these days. That's fine. Of, Are like, you going to ask me to the formal or what? Oh yeah, little mama. Would you like to like go with me? Would you like to attend with, would you like to be the third girl I'm bringing to the formal? Yeah. Because I want to pass you guys, because like my, my boy, once I get tired with you, I'm going to pass you to my boy and then he's going to rail you in the butt as well. That's fine. So, sick. But will I be like the first lady of the frat house? Little mama, I don't even know what that means. It's like the girlfriend of the frat peasant and it's always the first lady. Honestly, I'm just trying to take your vagina and look into it like this. Ah! To okay. see if I, I see bit. anything. El Presidente, I got you the fish. Turn it on. Um, What do you mean, if, turn it on? Flopped. Like, hit on it, is what she means. Is this, no, it flopped. Is this Don't jack off the fish, dog. She said, turn it on. Dude, you're what am I supposed to do? You're not getting in the Do I turn dog. it on? Do I not turn it on? Dude, you're so lame, dude. Who do you even know here? I know you, Presidente. Not anymore. I've completely forgotten you're who you are. You're done, Pledge. Yeah, you can pledge allegiance to that flag. But I caught you the fish. It doesn't matter. You're really annoying me, and I'm first. I love that Jared. This. Jared went and found Handsome's toy. That's a fish, and he's like, "Dude, I got a great idea for the bit." And he's just like running around. I thought it would be funny <laughs> if it just like hard cuts to. No, 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 no. no. I just have a question for you. Huh. Just okay. So when you were graduating college and you had your degree, did you think that you did all that work in two years to then um, oh, be on a podcast yeah. and jack off a fish? Uh, you know, no. Uh, no. If I'm being completely <laughs> honest, when I moved out here, I uh, I had this big dream of like basically being the next Cole Bennett, you know, and like wanting to. Who's Cole Bennett? Lyrical there Lemonade. We go. Um, oh. Just like wanting to do music videos, um, like really cool ones uh, that are super like artsy, very cinematic, and you know, have that kind of be my life. And Instead, then also, what happened? Um, instead, I think I've done two music videos while I've been out here and, um, but what have you done to a fish? And, jacked it off. You and, jacked off and a fish. Jack, jacked off you, jack, a you fish. jacked off a, a dog toy fish. Because I was pretending to be a pledge in a frat. Did you ever think in your head, eh, God sees this, you know? Oh, all the time. I question that a lot. Like when I get up to heaven's gates and like, is it St. Peter that judges that? Like he lets you in? Well, first off, St. Peter's is the team that beat Kentucky first round of uh, the NCAA tournament Let's this year. So it's a little it. bit of a soft spot. Why would you bring that up? I didn't. Let's move know. on. Yeah. Okay. I am terribly sorry. Andy, what are you looking at? Found out I was allergic to chicken. Put your fist down and put my fist up. I'm on about my to food sensitivity test, it came back and said in the high points of what I'm allergic to, it's vanilla and pineapple. On the medium to like moderate scale mm, was chicken. Because everyone else usually liked the taste, but you thought it was weird, so that makes sense. What? <laughs> anyway, move on. Uh, there's a okay. It was a joke about the pineapple and the and people often consume pineapple so that they make certain things taste better. Taste better. Oh, um, <sighs> chicken, chickpeas. But it just means you have like milk. you have like histamines like that react to to the food. Like your throat doesn't swell up when you have chicken. No, you know, no, no, I'm just saying that, that just it, means, it can like, it, it's what, like some of the stuff is what could be what's causing like my bloating or like bad digestion yeah. or anything like that. That's what I'm saying. You're telling me a Popeye chicken sandwich can cause your bloating. <laughs> Who would have thought? thought? My uncle did that where they tested like for a bunch of like food allergens and stuff. And so he went for like, I think, uh, well, he was same thing, like allergic to pretty much everything, you know, and 
So he started a new diet where he um, just ate everything that was like in the good range for him. I think it was it was literally steak uh, and broccoli or something like or asparagus, one of those. That's all he ate. Every, hey, every um, meal. What What do you need when you uh, when your tire goes flat? What do you want is your a spare, I guess. <laughs> what do you want is your time? Do you want fries or mac and cheese? Mac and cheese, please. And you want spicy in the f- or regular. Spicy, please. No pickles. Hey Zach, what do you want? Spicy or regular sandwich? Call an audible. Just surprise him. <laughs> And uh, so he ate fries that. Or mac and, and, and the holy hell, just pick one, man. We're on a podcast right now. Fries or mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Speaking of medical stuff, though, you know what I, you know what I did today? What I ordered? You checked out the fish today. Okay. Besides that, that the, there's not. That's, that's your highlight of the day. That all right? It's irrelevant. Uh, <laughs> it will never be irrelevant. It'll be spoken at your wedding. But keep going. <laughs> Do you remember when you sent me the New York Times article about the? dermatologist that was like oh use instead of using like the topical minoxidil try the oral minoxidil uh, right? this is like, for hair loss guys for yeah, people for that hair aren't loss um because minoxidil is the main ingredient in rogate right and like, a lot of a lot of these places will have you put on top of your head when really you should be suggesting it based on this art ingesting it based on this article yeah because your body can synthesize it better and then like if it's topical it might dude not we went absorbed. we went from jacking off fish to using words like synthesize <laughs> <laughs> anyway, keep going. And so, um, but the only thing is you need a prescription to get it. And so I went, I went online and I found like this service that uh, will give you prescriptions without really like having to go see a doctor. It's not like hymns. Oh, like okay. Hims, That's a plug. But keep going, man. <laughs> like hymns and Roman and keeps and all them, like they, they do that, but you, usually you have to like <laughs> talk to a doctor. This one was just like, it was specifically sh- for hair loss and you just put in like do you have any health problems and so i was like no 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 and so i got it they sent the prescription to walgreens and then i found this other service called uh i i did a lot of research on it though um to make sure it was like trustworthy uh it was called like uh uh, I think it's Direx or whatever, D-I-R-X, right? It's like an online pharmacy. It's based out of New Jersey. Um, but Are they sponsoring us? What's they, up with all the detail? Well, that was just part of the research that I did. But they have like generic versions of like all these, you know, uh, medicines. And so they have minoxidil. Dude, freaking for a three-month supply, I think like Hims or whatever charges $120 for like the topical solution. I got a three month supply of the oral pills, like exactly two and a half milligrams, just like the dermatologist recommended. It was thirteen dollars. How much was three months? How much was heroin? Huh? How much was heroin? I, I you I didn't check. I don't do know. a quick search next time you're on the site. Okay. I'm um, speaking of heroin. So Indiana and I, we do a podcast every week. It's a live podcast. Oh, DTR to find the relationship. Find check the it out on Spotify Live. Sounds- Every Monday, <laughs> 5 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. Okay, l- l- we'll do it a little slower so they know. Okay, it's uh, called Define the Relationship. It's every Monday, uh, 5 P-S- p.m. Pacific PST, Standard Time. PM EST. So LA time and then New York time at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Anyway, so there's this, we did a Q&A this last week. We usually just give people advice. And this this wonderful girl came on, really innocent voice. And she's like, uh, she had a profile picture that wasn't her. It was a girl from Euphoria. And she's like, hey, my question is, um, I just kind of, you know, I'm a little nervous to post on TikTok because um, I just, you know, I'm I don't know if I want to show my face. I just I just get nervous and anxiety when it comes to that. And then I was like, and we like gave her tactical advice to help her out with that. And then she's also like, oh, also, has anybody ever dated someone that's uh, been uh, in prison? Been in prison? And we're, and we're like, <laughs> and then she went on to say, yeah, because I was involved with this guy, and you know, I uh, witnessed my first shootout with him. And but but he she would just like comb by it. We're like, like okay, she'd hold- comb by it like really casually to the point where he had to be like. Wait, 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 wait. I was like, wine no. back. Yeah, wine back. What? what? You were in a shootout. She's like, yes, we were in the trap house. And I was like, okay, <laughs> no. What is going on? I'm like, wait, wait, what? And she goes, well, it's fine. Like, no one got hurt. And I was like, the, the intention was for people to die in the shootout, ma'am. That's why it's a shootout. And she goes, yeah, yeah. And then she starts talking about, like, how much per ounce different types of drugs are. And we're like, good, good. And we're going, like, wait, how do you know about this? She goes, oh, well, I used to be a heroin addict. And we're like, what the fuck? 
And but all- you're scared to show your face on the internet. And I'm like, yeah, no wonder you probably got people out there looking for you. Like, But she's clean now. Wonderful, she's clean now. She's a year girl. sober. So. If you're listening to this, thank you for your story. We just thought it was funny that how she came on from mm-hmm. like, hey, I'm just... Uh, I'm just hey, sweet I, little I'm, girl. I'm a little shy. I want to post on TikTok too. Yeah, so basically, this crackhead walked into um, the trap house, and my boyfriend had a little bit of an attitude with him. So um, the, crack, the crackhead crackhead no, no, shot. No, 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 no. He shot at his feet first. No, the crackhead shot. No, at- he shot at his feet first. People don't. Even, I'm just trying. Let me say no, the story. I understand, but it was because he. It, this is how the shootout happened because he didn't like the attitude that this person took with him. So he and he was like trying to big man him because his girl was watching. So he shot at the feet, and the crackhead was like. You're not disrespecting me in my house. And apparently the crackhead didn't know that you were shoot. He like intended to shoot at the feet. So then that's when the shootout started. Okay. I could be wrong. You know what? I'm going to go with you're probably right. But just what I, just what I personally heard in the story was he was trying to be a big man. And that's why the crackhead was like, you're not going to do this in my house and shot at his feet. And that's why he got mad and brought out the gun. And so, then they started shooting back. No, because It was, he was the crackhead's to- house. It was some There was a crackhead definitely in the house. house. It was a trap house. Oh, this girl hid behind, um, the the washer and dryer and put it behind like the closet until the shootout was done and then yeah she said heroin feels good does it she does said it? only the first time and then you're chasing that high again yeah so eventually the heroin wasn't doing anything so did she say how old she was um 18 when she first did heroin oh my gosh that's so baby. so young yeah but she's clean now which is really oh, good it's good one of my who is it it's like my cousin's husband or something like that is a or cousin. I don't know who it is. Someone in my family is a firefighter. Um, and so a lot of times they often respond. Uh, they're like the first responders to like an overdose scene. Oof, um, that's tough. And it's he he was saying um, it's insane how many because they have like the Narcan, right? That like brings them back uh, to, to life. life. And it's amazing how many times they will bring someone back to life and that person will like cuss them out for reviving them and like ruining their high. And they're like, you don't understand. You were dead. And they were like, they're like, fuck you. Like that was, I finally like chased that high, you know, like I finally found it. And they're like, you were literally dead. Like it's, it's it's, sad. It's it's really really sad. sad. It's really sad. But it was just like, I don't think we should start it. No, Uh, I don't think she said that she snorted heroin. I didn't even know you could snort heroin. Well, she's, she's also very inventive. You could tell she was a smart gal. Probably when it went Ivy League, if it wasn't for the whole trap. Yeah, situation. she also said she was scared of needles, which was that why was she never funny. shot it up. I was like, okay, she, she wasn't. So you're gonna snort the heroin we, instead of inject it? She goes, yeah, I'm scared of needles. I was, That's, I was like, are you were you scared in the shootout? She's like, uh, not really. Um, it was like I just went and walked to the laundry, and I was like, you you walked. She's like, but I am scared of needles. I was like, but not heroin, and I was like, okay, you know, teach their own. Doesn't Rue snort heroin? Spoiler and- alert. No, she's uh, she snorts like opioids and pills and stuff. The, My favorite the, fact is that if you eat enough um, poppy seeds, that you can get high. Well, you get you can test really. High. Oh, that also came up as to histamines. Oh, you poppy can just seeds. test. Yeah, so like you. Oh, before, like, I thought a, you like actually got at least like a little buzz or something from what poppy seeds. I could be yeah. wrong, but How is that? But right before you do a drug test, you're not supposed to eat like seeds. Like that. it might be even sesame seeds too. Really? I could be wrong. Really? Why? I, I don't know, just traces of something. Either way, I do want to bring this There's up. There's like an active ingredient in like- This also found in drugs? Yeah. Also so I like to pop people's knuckles. It's the thing that I really enjoy doing. Indiana, I do it to her often. It's this <laughs> thumb muscle. I mean, it's this thumb joint right here. I like to pop it. Well, I just learned when I went back home, um, the lovely, lovely girl that taught me how to do that in middle school is now addicted to meth. A little tidbit about me and my hometown. Someone taught you how to crack knuckles? Yeah, on the oh, bleachers. Yeah, on the ble- it was. What um, do you mean? This back knuckle right here. Oh, know, the that's thumb that's a new knuckle. experience to anyone that hasn't popped that knuckle before. I it's nice. Hate it. I hate I like it these, so much. I like when these get popped. But Zach, when I tell you, pops my knuckles. Does he not? Twenty four seven. My toes. My fingers. I don't know why you let it happen. Because I, you're a. What? How many times I'm like, stop, stop, stop. He's just grabbing him. He non-consensually pops me. <laughs> but I would never non-consensually lock and drop you. And oh. You know that. Pop and lock it, both good. Damn it. That's where I was going to I was gonna say that next. What, what is that one thing when we were little? It's like a circle, circle, dot, dot. I just got my cootie shot. What the hell you are you talking about? You guys have never heard. Have you guys heard? 
no, don't touch me there. This is my no-no square. Yeah, of course I lived with an uncle. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but circle, circle, dot, dot, I just got my cootie shot. I never heard that. That's, that was huge among the have humans. You, have you guys heard the coconut, coconut, big banana, cherry on top, and ooh, la la. Dude, I don't know any of these little like schoolyard rhymes. Well, Jared, you were getting bullied while this was all happening. Yeah. Okay, that, that's accurate. I was listening to <laughs> I was listening to "Riding Solo" by Jason Derulo <laughs> and just crying Solo. my eyes out in the Riding corner on your Zoom. I loved yeah. it. Jason Derulo. I loved him. Right. I had I don't even think it was a Zune. It was like an off brand Zune. Um Zune was already off brand basically. No, I know. Like it was it was even more off brand than Zune. Zune. It's a Zune those, was a competitor to the iPod. I think you those, wouldn't know it. It was Microsoft, right? That was yeah. My, yeah. What indie makes me. <laughs> 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 and then I'm, indie be like, You were already micro, and I'd be like, Indie. Say it. You were already micro. Indie. Oh. I didn't know this. I didn't know that like the full name for poppy seed is opium poppy like that's the plant opium? i don't know i just know that's what women call me and then they ask oh, for my seed though opium poppy. oh poppy. well if you think about it milk of the poppy that's what they would take to help relieve pain in um in like game of thrones and stuff like that here's some milk of the poppy oh holy oh. shit it's all coming together ding 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 ding, ding. yeah we're no you guys weren't caught up on that what milk of the poppy yeah no, I wasn't. You were just like, well, I also, I have a mystery. You guys watch Game of Thrones way more recently than I have. Now so we're watching like, House of the Dragon, so watch your dirty I'm mouth. So far yeah. behind, I gotta catch up. Tonight. I already know. I mean, well, never mind. I'm not gonna spoil it. But I got, I got something spoiled for me. There is a live candle. Then here. why would you say I gotta catch up if you didn't want it? <laughs> <laughs> huh? You want mustard as well? Oh, that was too good. Damn it. I hate when you do that because I can't even be mad. Yeah, it's funny. I know. I got something really big spoiled for me. In a, oh, I was, you got, it was a, Wait, like us. a gallon of? Tell us. It's expensive. In the, in the episodes that have already come out? Yeah. Just, have you, you can bleep it out. It was, yeah, I was trying to find, um, like topics to talk about. So I was going through like current pop. Why the hell were you guys whatever. on Twitter? Can't no, I Twitter. wasn't. I wasn't on we, Twitter. We got it. We know. We got to move on. This is yeah. dangerous territory. The House of the Dragon is. We no. We cannot spoil anything for anybody. Even yeah. you saying that, you're, you're no, alluding to things. No, so I'm, I'm going to bleep, bleep that out. out. I'm going to bleep. It that doesn't out. even matter if you bleep it out. Context clues are wonderful. There's no context. So clues. basically, people just heard. Yeah. So. Well, no. I'll just do like a little. Hold on, Jared. I'm doing, being a DJ. I'll just, I'll just do a little cut. Get your hands up. Jerry, get your hands up. Now let me see you break it down. Damn, you guys frustrate impressive. me. We frustrate you? How do we frustrate you? Okay, that was in my brain. You know I didn't mean for it to come out. Did you guys see Post Malone fell Ooh, at his concert? I know that shit had to hurt. I'm surprised it didn't come out Ooh, that he broke a rib or something. Wait. I know that shit had to hurt. Wait, can you show Ooh. a clip? I felt so bad for him because he came back I on just stage. What? Adam Levine. What about Adam? Did you guys cheating. see Adam Levine? Cheating? Yeah. No. Yeah, he was cheating on his girlfriend. But did you see but okay, so apparently he was cheating for a year with this mistress and, and he wanted to name his new baby after his mistress. Shut Holy the fuck up. Indy, I set up things. But I got it there first. But that's annoying. Is you, that what his baby's wait, wait, name is? Wait, wait, hold on. No, no, no. Is that what his baby's nope, name is now? Nope, You wait a second. You always yell at me for cutting you off. I, I don't yell at you, but that's cutting me off. Sorry. Yes, he wanted to name the baby after the mistress. Oh, How my fucked up is that? God, that, that is, is so, so dark. Up. That is so... Did he name the baby that? Do we know that the story's I true first? I didn't even first? know he was having a baby. I mean, there's screenshots. She's a Victoria's Secret model. So wait. How do you cheat on that? So the Instagram model is... The one. Her name's Summer. So, yeah, so, but it's it's Sumner. Sumner. Oh. Yeah, I was like, that's a, that's a weird. Um, but okay, so he was cheating. Who is he married to? A Victoria's Ma Secret model. Oh, he's married to a Victoria's Secret Correct. model. Has been for a while, like ten years or something. Oh my god, how do you cheat on that? Yeah, wild. That's like the guy that people uh, are out here cheating on Victoria's Secret models. How am I expecting? People are my... out here cheating on Beyonce. Like, that... how am I expecting? That's, my person to be loyal to me. Like, let's be real. That's like the guy that uh, was with Emily Radishkowski, you know. Oh, he cheated on her? Yeah. The NFL player? 
No, what? Was he an NFL player? Or a basketball player. Emily Ratajkowski, or whatever the hell her name is, her Wait, husband- Did she star in a Pixar movie? Not oh, Mike her husband. Her husband is 100% like an NFL or an NBA player. 1,000 million percent. That's it, I'm going hockey. I'm Actually, right. no, that's Sebastian Carrie Bear. Underwood. No, he's hockey. a film producer. No way. I know I'm either. looking it up right now. He's a producer and actor known for uncut gems, good time, and something else. I don't know. You better be mad. Emily Ratajkowski's estranged husband, Sebastian Bear McClard, allegedly cheated on her multiple times. And oh, then, they, they got divorced? Yeah, before they split. I, can you believe he and cheated she was on her? Pregnant. Yeah. She was pregnant with their son. We didn't want to have sex with a kid, Jared. That's, well, okay. How do you feel about pregnant sex? Um, I think it's weird, but also. Beautiful? No. But oh. <laughs> also, like, I, I, I've heard it doesn't affect the baby in any way. And nine months is a long time to go without um, intimacy with your partner. So I understand why I people don't think do there's it. anything gross about it. But 100%, I would be thinking about that baby the whole oh, time. Oh, absolutely. I would just be like, oh, please don't grab on. <laughs> don't grab on. Because what if it like grabs on? It just made my skin crawl like, thinking of think like a little that. baby. To my wiener and then I like I birth it. I yeah. pull it out. And, it's like, and then it's born on a stripper pole. What? It's born <laughs> what kind on of, a stripper pole. What kind of life is that baby why, supposed to have? Why are you having sex on, on a, a stripper, stripper pole? No, no, my pole, the baby comes out on it. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> and people are going to be in the comments, actually, Zach, that's not how a womb works. And based on the... <laughs> actually, a baby's grip is not strong enough for you to pull it out through the... <laughs> my baby's grip would. I mean, my baby's baby. My, the baby, my baby who I made the baby with my baby's got that good grip. My baby's baby got that good grip. Mm, it's bordering on pedophilia, but I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are good. Oh, uh, something else cool happened this week. Uh, we didn't even talk about Catalina. All we did was go to an island. Jared got drunk and then had sex with like a hooker thing. Anyway. Um, yeah, right. Okay. I didn't have sex with anything. Okay. Just because she's on drugs means she's not a human being, mm -hmm. not a thing. Wild. So dumb. Wow. So dumb. You don't believe people in trouble are nouns. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Stop trying to cancel me. What else cool happened? Oh, uh, so... The guy, he was an executive producer. His name is Brent Forrester on The Office. He was a writer on The Office for seven seasons, and he directed like several episodes. Really? He, he interviewed me this week. Did he? Yeah. When did that happen? Right here on Zoom. The other day. So Why did you say anything? Well, the I minute don't know. the moment is over for him, unless somebody is directly in his eye line, he won't tell anyone. If 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 he got nominated for an Oscar, we wouldn't. If we were not in that room when he found out, we would not find out. I don't need an Oscar. Posted somewhere online. I already have the Meyer Wiener. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean. Wait. Like we wouldn't find out. So what did what did he talk to you about? What, what was he just he, he broke down one of my comedy videos and was like, "Why is this funny? Why is this blah blah blah?" And he's like, "How? What do you think about kind of the state of comedy and what do I want to do in the future and things like that?" And yeah, so. That's so cool. Did you um, did you send him like your movie for him to like read and review? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, um, we're just boys. Okay. Well, I just thought like it would be cool to get I did his two cents. I did tell him I I, I want to come out with like a, a TikTok series, like a little mini series on TikTok of something. Maybe help him write it, or help him help me write it, and then do like minute long. If we can get views, then maybe we could sell it and then make it into a real show. I thought that'd be cool. There you go. Would you like, would you want to film it just like on phones or would you want to yeah. do like, I mean, I, think actual... if, I don't think you have to put that much production value. It's TikTok. I don't think it's what people yeah, expect exactly. as long as the jokes are there. I just didn't know if you wanted to do like a full proof of concepts where you actually like have cameras, but they're just like vertical. Zach justice helps create the office Two on an app called TikTok with former director and executive producer and writer of the office reboot with Steve Carell. The title writes itself. <laughs> um, I have, I'm going to put that all on the screen. <laughs> do, 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 do. I have some pretty tiny news about views and shows. Okay. Chicken Girls College Years episode one is nearing on a million views. That's incredible. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. The first thing I directed. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Watch this. Watch this. What would you think of it, Jared? What did you think Are of the first? I, what no, I no, thought? No, hold on, hold on. What did I think of the show? No, hold, yeah. What did you think of the? Oh, just the first episode. What did you think? I thought it was fantastic. Who's your favorite character besides Indy? Birdie. Jared, are you serious? You haven't watched it? I listen to all of your music. 
all of it, unreleased and released music. Even Handsome's mad. Keep I, out of his cage. It's probably the dog, the food. I listen to all of your music. I review it all. Even if I don't continue to listen to your unreleased stuff or released stuff, I at least give it a listen once. You haven't even watched the show? Wow, have you, Zach? Yeah. You've watched every episode. Oh, no. But you've, you've seen the first episode at least. Yeah, I've seen more than that. Jared, come on, dude. That's fucked up. What's he eating? Dude, how'd you even find that so fast? <laughs> Jared, try and change the subject. Um, wow, that's kind of fucked up, Jared. He didn't know what came out yet. Yes, you did. I've been posting about it. I he, he doesn't even know. He didn't even know what the internet was. Uh, well, you know, I, I just, really, it's not, literally no excuse. It, it's not that I, I don't <laughs> I guess support what you do. Show, yeah, exactly. Damn. It's a, I'm not the demographic for yeah, but, it. So okay, I, didn't think, I don't listen. I don't normally listen to your type of music ever. I more listen to like sad girly pop music, but like, I love what I've created here. Wow. You haven't even seen the first episode. You couldn't even do me that. I watched the trailer. Fuck you. <laughs> I posted that trailer on my story. And I watched the full thing. Yeah, so he had to click a link. That's kind of fucked up, Jared. Oh, come on. You man. haven't even taken the time to watch it? I'm very proud of it. Have you? I, I, it's <laughs> not that I'm shitting on it. It's that he I wanted just, to watch it live on the podcast right now. Yeah, I just... It's just not... My, my, I'm not the demographic for the show. It doesn't so matter. I didn't, I'm I didn't your think, best friend. I didn't think you Jared. would be offended that I didn't well, watch it because drinking ha handsome's Alyssa drinking your water, Alyssa. It's fine. I didn't think you'd. Oh, now he has your straw. Be offended because so. I'm not the target audience, and of course so I'm going to be would, sad if my best friend doesn't watch would, the first thing I directed. I you guys know each other. But. You would understand. <laughs> I that, understand that it's Jared, not your demographic. There's only one way out. Hold on. There's only one way out. I'm sorry. I messed up. I will definitely watch it. I'm sorry, I messed up. You gonna watch it tonight? And I well, I'm gonna be editing. Yeah, tonight, just let him so. edit tonight. All right, all right, tomorrow. Sure, I'll watch it tomorrow. Thank you. You don't have to watch all of it. I'm not expecting you guys to watch all of it. Just the first episode. I'm expecting you guys to. You act, you could lie to me and be well, like, I, if I like well, it, I'm I well, I meant it. like at least the first. episode. You guys at least need to watch the first episode. I've already watched the first episode. Thank you, Zach. He's seen more than the first episode. I appreciate that. So that's wild, Jared. I can't believe you haven't even seen the first episode. <laughs> the tea is hot. Anyway, and on that our, note, our Popeyes just got here. Oh, yeah, our Popeyes is here, so we're stopping the podcast because we have to eat, right? Jared? Um, yeah, totally. And we're, we're also not filming this um, Monday, uh, you know, hours before it's hours meant to be released. before, literally 12 hours before this is supposed to come out. So, Sweetness. um, we're gonna keep it a little short just so I can get this edited in time, um, and uploaded for you guys. So, you've been on a quick turnaround editing spiel, yeah. Recently, and I'm gonna have to you? do it tomorrow too. I'm really, oh. you know, yeah, anyway. Um, but thank you for bearing with us. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Dropouts. I'm Indiana, that's Zach Justice, that's Jerry Music. Thank you for Jer bearing with us. <laughs> you just didn't. I'm so sorry. If you stayed till the end, make sure to send me a picture of Handsome. Handsome the Bulldog. Please edit it in some way that makes me smile. Put him in a field or something. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week for another episode of Dropouts. Make sure you go check us out on Instagram at Dropouts Pod. And we have the other podcast every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard. DTR Time. Spotify Live. I'm so empty inside. <laughs>